came out to start my truck and it didn't start. Had to jump start it, started fine, drove around fine and it's been fine. But is this battery bad or is it still good? Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Now I need to know if my truck battery is just dead or if it's actually bad. And this company, King Bolin, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to take a look at their battery tester. And I thought, well, yeah, absolutely. That's perfect timing because I really need to know if this battery is just completely bad or am I just jumping the gun here on replacing it? It will jump start just fine. And even it'll start fine for an entire day or two if it sits, but we're not driving this truck as much as we used to. Unfortunately, it sits sometimes for more than a week. Now it doesn't seem to have a parasitic draw. I've done the test on that. And I also made a video of how to test for a parasitic draw. I'll leave the link to that in the description for you. But let's go ahead and open this up and see if we can figure out this truck, whether or not our battery is junk, or if I need to try to nurse it a little bit more, or try to bring it back to life. Now it comes with a little USB cable. I think that's just for updates. There's the tester, nice big screen. That's nice that those are very strong metal clamps. I like that. Now I already did try to restore this battery a little bit. I have the Top Don battery tester and maintainer. It's got a repair function. It's got lots of different charging algorithms. And I did try that maybe a month or two ago and it seemed to make the battery better. Now that Top Don tester is a great tester but that does use an app on your phone and my phone was full and I needed some storage. I ended up deleting the app. And so rather than download the app and hook that one back up. I thought this would be really convenient because you don't need to hook this up to your phone or anything. You just hook it up to the vehicle and you can do a state of health, state of charge, but you can also do a starting test and a charging system or load test on it as well. So let's get it hooked up. I'm gonna bring you down closer because this screen is just very, very dim. I went into settings and I changed the theme to a white background because the dark background was even worse than this. The other thing I did is I went into settings and I turned off the beep function. That was somewhat annoying, so you're not gonna hear it beep each time I push a button. But let's go ahead and just hit the OK button here and scroll down to 12 volts. Now this has got a quick test, in vehicle or out of vehicle, so we'll do an in vehicle test. And right now we're gonna do the battery test, but you can see we also have a charging test, startup test, and a load test. So battery test first, just to see where we're at. Confirm that the engine is turned off. Now it's also asking me what type of battery. This one is an AGM spiral, cold cranking amps. On this one, it's 720. You can see I already have that entered. So just hit okay. And there you can see our state of health is 21%. It's saying that it's time for a replacement. Cold cranking amps is at 326. Voltage is at 11.66 and resistance is 7.87. All right, so we know that this is not a good battery or it's not in good shape. Let's exit out of this. Now let's try the charging test just to make sure that our charging system is in good shape. So let's hit okay. Now I'm sure it's gonna want me to start the truck since I started it yesterday and drove it around, it did start for me this morning when I pulled it up here. Uh, hopefully it will start again, but right now it's saying start the engine and keep it between 2,500 and 3,500 RPM. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'm just gonna wedge a little stick on the front edge of the seat on the accelerator pedal and see if I can balance that somewhere between 2,500 and 3,500 RPM. It would be helpful if these cables were longer, then you could just carry this tool into the cab of the vehicle and go ahead and start it and step on the accelerator pedal yourself. But uh, the little stick trick does seem to work, so I'm gonna go do that now. All right, I'm gonna hit okay. I've got the engine right around 2,600 RPMs. Sorry about the noise. Let's hit okay. Now I'm gonna skip the startup test and I'm gonna go to load test because I already have the truck running. Let's just hit okay. Now it says full load, keep between 2,000 and 2,500 RPM and then press the okay button. So I'm gonna go in the truck and I'm gonna turn on the AC, I'm gonna turn on the headlights and then I'm gonna hit okay. All right, now the RPMs are right around 2400, which is within the range. Now here it's saying the load capacity is good. Current, 14.1. This screen again is just so difficult for me to even show. The reflection and everything is just terrible here, but hopefully you can see that it says good. Now I'm gonna to try to do the startup test. So let's hit okay. But we need to turn off the engine, so I'm gonna turn it off first. Sorry about all that noise, but now the engine is off. Let's hit okay. Now it's saying start the engine. Okay, so it's showing a voltage of 9.6. Starting ability is normal. Time, 497 milliseconds, so basically half a second. Let's turn the engine off, and I'm gonna do the battery test again and see if our state of health changed. 
Now I'm only doing this state of health test again on the battery test. I'm just curious if the state of health has changed since I've been starting it here and running it for a little bit. Let's go back in AGM spiral, cold cranking amp 720. So 29%. Well, it looks like we still do need to replace this battery. I uh, definitely don't want to get stranded anywhere with this. Although it will start the vehicle right now and it will run, you know, and it will even start, you know, shortly after parking it. It's on its way out. We've got too much resistance here. It's showing 6.65. So this battery is definitely bad. Now there are a few other features. This also has waveform, playback, records, setup, and multimeter. So really the waveform right here, if we click on that, that's just going to show you the voltage and it just kind of runs across there as a as a line now we can go start the truck and that will uh it'll drop down and then it'll go up when the alternator starts charging it i'm going to demonstrate that real quick you can see right there where it dropped down to 8.471 and now it's back up to 14.21 or 14.41 is the max all right let's go back and then you can go over here to playback hit okay and it will show you the waveform playback waveform that we recorded there so it'll probably show this drop we can also go in and go down to records let's see what we have here just says last record and this is our last record showing the resistance cold cranking amps shows the volts at 11.66 let's go back here and then here the multimeter is at 12 volt. You can see we're up here in the green right now as far as our charge. This screen is actually a little bit hard to read. It's a little confusing. Probably not something I would use, but it's nice to know that you do have a standard multimeter here. And that's pretty much it. Nice little battery tester. This is the BM580 by King Bolin. They did send this to me for free in exchange for this review video. And I do like the tool overall. It's nice to be able to have that function, not only to be able to test voltage or the alternator is working, which you can do that with a voltmeter and that works fine but it's nice to be able to do the state of health test and to be able to do that load test where you can turn on everything and see if your charging system can handle the load as well which I, I like that that's a nice little feature you can see we have a really good charging system in this truck but our battery unfortunately is junk and it's uh, time to change that out so when I put in the new battery I'll be more careful make sure that I start this truck or use this truck more frequently but uh, it is a great truck and I'm really happy to have it I've got over 300,000 miles on this thing and had it since new so really love this truck but um, that's pretty much it i hope you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind that does help me out i'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same battery tester as well thanks so much for watching and good luck mm -hmm.